Welcome to ACI, the Network Made Simple learning series. In this video, we will cover Module 1, Initial Tasks, Chapter 7, Best Practices. In this module, we learned how to perform the initial AP configuration. We also understood how auto-provisioning works in ACI, and we did learn other basic tasks that will help you managing it. This module does not stop here. I will be adding extra chapters to the module as needed, so stay tuned. In the next module, we will now learn how to connect anything to ACI, including things like servers, virtual environments, routers, and more using VPC, access ports, and many others. And then in module three, we will learn how to communicate different endpoints across the ACI fabric by using concepts like tenants, EPGs, contracts, and so on. But before we do that, I would like to close this module by sharing a few best practices that may help you as you perform the initial ACI tasks. First, the tap pool. Remember, this is the subnet APIC uses to communicate with each device, build the underlay and overlay network, and more. Keep in mind that if you change the default 10.0.0.0 slash 16 subnet value on the wizard, as you learned in episode two, you must use a value of slash 23 or less for your netmask. Second, the InfraTap pool should be unused and unique. Although this subnet is mainly used internally, the APIC may encounter some conflicts if you integrate virtual environments through a virtual machine manager like vCenter or SCVMM and that subnet is repeated somewhere else in your network. The same would apply if you eventually integrate ACI Virtual Edge or AVE which includes virtual spines and virtual leaves. And therefore, the infra VLAN would have to be extended to that virtual environment. If you don't have large enough private IP subnets to use, you may consider using addresses in the RFC 6598 range, as they won't conflict with the internet and are traditionally not used in private networks. It is important for you to know that this subnet can be changed once provisioned unless you wipe out the fabric. So pick this one carefully. Third, for the infrastructure VLAN ID, please use a VLAN ID that does not conflict with any reserved VLAN in your environment so that you can extend it freely, especially for AVE and other scenarios that may require it. Using VLAN 3967 has been considered a safe pick and best practice, so use it if you can. And fourth, integrate your APIC to Intersight. As you probably know, Intersight is a SaaS offering from Cisco, which allows you to configure and manage servers, storage, and more directly from the cloud. They constantly add new features that make Cisco Data Center Anywhere story more appealing. So it is a great way to centralize your inventory and make the most of new features that may emerge for networking as they come out. Since it is an extremely simple process, let's take a quick look at how to perform such integration. Just go to your APIC, Click on System Settings and then on Intersight. Now click on Turn On and specify your settings such as DNS and Proxy if you need one. Then let's copy the device ID and sign in to Intersight by typing intersight.com on your browser. Log in with your Cisco account and you should be in the main dashboard. On the left side of the main menu, click on Devices in the Administration section and then click on Claim a new device. Just copy and paste your device ID, then your claim code from APIC, and you're done. Easy, right? All features from Intersight, including server and hyperconverged monitoring, storage arrays, virtualized environments such as vCenter and its virtual machines, as well as workflow and solution orchestration, have a free trial period. And the base version comes free of charge when you have Cisco UCS servers or Hyperflex. So again, it is a great tool to manage and automate the data center as a whole. Always keep in mind these four best practices when configuring your ACI environments for the first time, and you should be good to go. We can now start creating our physical network configuration as we will show in the next module. ACI provides you with a better, simpler, and secure network, any size, anywhere, and on any cloud. If you want to learn more about other common tasks and how ACI radically simplifies network provisioning and operations, please watch the rest of the videos in this series. Thanks for watching.